Hello guys, it's your boy Chikso here, back again with another Injustice to Mobile video. Now, today we have something to talk about. It's been ages since we have actually something to talk about f from Injustice to Mobile. But today, it's the luckiest day ever, because we have a new trailer from Injustice to Mobile developers. Let's watch it first and then let's discuss about what is going to come in Injustice to Mobile. Oh my god! A new era, oh my god. So it was obvious that they are going to release a new character for the upcoming movie uh, with Wonder Woman. It was obvious since day one, since I saw the trailer for this movie, I knew uh, when this movie is going to launch, they are going to release a character like this. Because it's not that hard for them to do that. Uh, they already have the files for all the Wonder Womans in this game. And this is basically just a reskin of the Wonder Romans that we have already. It's nothing groundbreaking. It's not going to change the mechanics of the character. They just need to rework and do a skin for that specific character and maybe uh, do like two specials. Because believe me, one of the specials is going to still be the reflective shield. Because it's a, it's like a trademark for any Wonder Woman in in Injustice 2 Mobile, and is going to have maybe a reworked special one and special three, and add some passives with that. But the core mechanics of the characters are still going to be the same. So it's not like they actually put in the work for this character. It's just a reskin for them to actually build up more hype for the movie because they obviously have a contract with uh, Warner Bros uh, for this movie and they are getting paid um, with a percentage just because they released this character and they are basically indirectly or directly they are marketing this movie for the people that actually directed this movie. Now, am I excited for this character? Hell no. Hell no. Uh, as much as I love Mythic Wonder Woman, as much as I love any Wonder Woman in this game, and they they have a, a, a cool play style, don't get me wrong, they are not OP by any means, but at least the Wonder Womans that we have for now are gold, gold and silver, whatever, but this is going to be legendary. Believe me, bro, this is going to be 100% legendary, just because... Uh, it doesn't benefit Netherrealm, not even the slightest, for them to release another gold character. It's been like more than one year since we had a gold character. And ever since they released the last gold character, we only had legendaries. Just because they love releasing legendaries with... Um, with real money, with stupid chests, with dumb chances of unlocking them, and then they are harder to promote, you have to spend more money buying gems, uh, buying chests, and of course the gears are sold separately. I don't know who was the guy that actually came up with this idea, well, let's re release a legendary, but let's not give them the gears, let's put the gears in a, ch uh, in a chest with chances, and when they are actually getting sick of getting the same dupes without actually fully unlock the full gear gear set, they are going to uh, be like, well, 10 bucks is not that big of a deal. And they are going to uh, donate for the full gear set. That's what I don't like about this company and about this game and the whole mindset of legendary characters. Like, all right, Darkseid is a legendary, Arkham Knight Batman is a legendary, but at least you get the fucking gears when we actually unlock them. But with other legendaries, no, bro, you have to grind your ass off for that stupid gear chest, and then you are not going to get the full gear set, and then you are going to be forced, basically, to spend real money. 
this is going to be the case with the new Wonder Woman. Now you can dislike the video, do whatever you want if you think that I'm being dramatic or whatever, but when they are actually going to release her as a new legendary, you can come back to this video and actually uh, admit that I was right. Because let's be honest, when was the last time this company actually did something uh, for us, the community and the players and not for themselves? Because everything they released, every game mode, I was about to say every game mode, but the fact is we only had a new game mode in like four years, which is solo raids. Um, Champions Arena still in beta after two years. So yeah, solo raids is the only game mode they released. And that game mode, it's specifically made for the whales and specifically made to actually fear, fill Netherrealm's pockets. It's not made for us to enjoy because I don't know about you, but I don't enjoy uh, actually starting over every two weeks at the same boss just because I don't have a strong enough roster to defeat that boss. Like, eventually you are going to hit a wall and I'm sure most of you guys already are there and you have you don't have a strong uh, a strong roster enough to be able to defeat a certain boss and that timer reset when two weeks have passed and solo rays are on cooldown then you are going to be able you are going to need to start over with that sub boss so yeah so mo for the most of the most of the people solo rays um eventually is going to be like kicking a dead horse you are not going to be able to get the, any more rewards and yeah the, the the whole idea is that they are not going to release this character for us to enjoy for us to experience and have fun and do more damage in solo rays whatever they are only going to release this character to market the movie and to actually fill their pockets with more money now this has been the case with martian manhunter as well i absolutely hate that character not because i hate the character itself and uh, the whole idea behind the character just because uh it's a legendary and because it's built that way for you to spend money it's built with the mindset in uh, with the mindset that you have to spend money to promote that character, to fully experience the potential of that character and to actually be able to use him. Because without the gears, you are not going to be able to use him. And without even the slightest luck, you are not going to be able to unlock him. Now, these are all speculations from my perspective of a player that has been disappointed by this company um, ever since um, they released Raids. Because Raids was the only game mode that was amazing and after that after they released raids everything has gone downhill they are not even doing live streams anymore talking about updates listening to to our opinions they are only releasing new stupid characters every once in a while legendaries of course and that for the whole purpose of them filling their pockets now i don't know if you guys are uh, at the same opinion as i am but let me know in the comment section down below if you actually agree or disagree with my point of view because actually i don't know what what uh, other point of view you are going to have you are going to be thinking like you are going to get a new gold character an arena season for this uh, wonder woman i highly doubt it man i in the deepest place of my heart, I hope that they are going to do that, that they are going to release a, a new gold character. But I highly doubt it because it doesn't benefit them. It, it, it only benefits us. And uh, along the road, they realize that, that gold characters are not beneficial for them because they released Champions Arena and now everybody has shards for gold characters everybody has uh, prismatic shards everybody has might shards or king shards you are full of shards from champions arena and if you get uh this sorry guys i had to cut the video off because i had to take a phone call as i as, as i was saying like 
it's not beneficial for Netheran to release another gold character and I highly doubt it that they are going to release her as a gold character and for you to be able to use your 1000 prismatic shards right off the bat you unlock Wonder Woman from a chest or from arena season and then right away you promote her directly to six stars and that's it you don't have to grind for anything you have the gears you have everything that you need you are just building her and you are having fun that's not beneficial from netherrealm releasing this character they want to market the movie they want to make money and yeah i cannot blame them from a marketing standpoint from wanting uh to squeeze every bit of money from this game as much as they can until the game basically dies and they have to release injustice 3 because uh, in my opinion, that's what they are waiting for. They are waiting for the completion of Injustice 3 on console. And then either reworking this game like um, they did with... Um, like Nidoran did with uh, MK, MK Mobile. And now they instead of releasing MK11 Mobile, they reworked and they added new characters from MK11 into... Uh, the old uh, Mortal Kombat from the mobile and they are either going to rework Injustice 2 they are either uh, going to release a whole new game like they have Injustice 1 and this is Injustice 2 and they are going to have Injustice 3 um, and that's what they are waiting they are waiting for that and in the meantime they are going to release every once in a while a new character to squeeze some money from us so my advice if this Wonder Woman is a legendary, please, I hope, I pray to God that you are not going to waste your money on this character, giving your hard-earned money from this for this lazy company that basically doesn't do anything with the consumer in mind. They are only doing uh, things, updates, whatever, with the whole purpose in mind of that being money, and that's it. Now. Like I said, I I wish I was excited and happy for this new update, but honestly, it's going to be the same case like with Martian Manhunter. It's, it's going to be a full update just so that they can add one new character and 2,000 new bugs. It's not going to be anything else. One new legendary that you are never going to get and 1,000 bugs that you are going to encounter and in everyday use, in everyday um scenario where you are fighting raids uh, arena whatever they are going to add new bugs that that's for sure that was my opinion guys uh, let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this new update and what's your opinion about the new wonder woman do you think she's going to be gold legendary he's going she's going to be op she's going to be just meh like martian manhunter is let me know take care guys peace